so excited. We're soaking it all in. We're so grateful to be here and are just really having the time of our lives. And how, how are you both feeling ahead of uh, the first dance uh, this Saturday? Feeling very excited, mm -hmm. very prepared, and honestly, I, I can't wait for it. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait to be out there competing. Um, and we got to skate on the main rink yesterday for the first time, and now I'm just itching to get back out there. So, yeah, we're counting down the seconds. If you could describe uh, what it's going to be like in a few words, I mean, how would you describe it? Ooh. I would say one word that would be in there is a privilege. Yeah. Um, and just, yeah. yeah, like gratitude to be there and joyful as well. It's been a long time in the making and yeah, that and, sums it up for me. And electric because there's this um, intangible energy in that arena. And I just, I'm so honored that we get to perform with that energy supporting us. We want to leave everything out there on the ice. We want to perform to our full capability because we know what we want to do. We know how, how we want to execute our elements and our performances. So really just going for it and finishing both programs with that huge sense of pride and gratification, that's our main goal. Mm -hmm. And how excited should people be for the free dance on Monday, do you think? I hope very. We are. <laughs> We're excited. <laughs> um, yeah, we love to perform. and. I hope that people will love what we do and really enjoy the show that we give and the entertainment because at the end of the day, we just want people to feel what we feel out there on the ice. Mm -hmm. And we love The Lion King and we know that so many people around the world do too. So we hope that the music starts and then people think, oh, I love this song. And then hopefully our performance is entertaining as well. Great, great, great. Uh, so Lewis, what sport were you into before you um, started ice skating? I was into football, <laughs> so <laughs> extremely different. <laughs> um, yeah, there's definitely not a crossover there at all. Unless you kicked me in the shin by accident. <laughs> yeah, then, then there's that. But yeah, I played football, and after the first season of Dancing on Ice, loved how it looked and wanted to give it a goal. So there's no crossover skills between football and ice skating? No. <laughs> maybe quick twitch muscles? What do you think? Yeah, maybe. If we get into, like, details. Mechanics. But it's definitely not, like, coming from a sport like gymnastics or ballet. Or ballet yeah. That would really help. And so when you first, when you two first got together in 2016, how has your, you know, partnership grown? How have you, have you continued to work together for that? Oh, well, it's funny because Lewis said this the other day. We, I started off as an annoying little sister, and now we're more of an old married couple. And we've just grown closer as friends. We really respect and admire one another. And I think our personalities are very different, but complement each other well. And we both value um, each other's perspectives immensely. Um, and so there's been a lot of uh, restrictions going into Beijing uh, with coronavirus and your preparation. How has that affected your you know, preparedness for the games going in? I think for, for us, and I'm sure many other athletes, um, we have had to compete alongside the coronavirus for over, I guess, two years now. And so coming here and getting here, we really kind of knew what to expect and how it's, the setup goes in a sort of bubble format. But mm -hmm. really, I think like everyone, we were very apprehensive before getting here to make sure that we're being extra cautious and just get our feet on the ground in Beijing. Yeah, and just doing whatever we could and taking responsibility for our health. Um, but yeah, it, we've, we've had training, definitely, working with masks and competing with these circumstances.